guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna make my take on the Dollar Store or Dollar Tree gingerbread cutout. This is my version. Take what you will from it. And I have coffee because it's craft time. Okay, so here's the supplies I needed. I have two of these, right? So I'm already gonna just cut the top string off because I know I don't need that. And I have a little piece of sandpaper and this is the Dollar Tree super lightweight spackle. And the reason I love this so much, I will tell you it dries really quickly. I can stain it, I can paint it, it works well. Sands off easy, all the things. And that's how I fill the hole when I use these cutouts. So we have that. You'll need some scissors. I use some nips or pinking shears. I'll show you why when we get there. I grabbed one of these DIY kits. It really doesn't matter which one because really what I want is the wooden base to it. So I, had, I actually had two of these kits that I've opened. Paint brushes. Whatever color paint you want, I'm going with brown bark, bark brown. Now I did trace it and I made myself some patterns. We're gonna use, also you'll need some felt and hot glue. Now I did buy the Gorilla Sticks, but I'm not gonna open these until I've used what I already have open. But you'll want some felt. We're gonna do like paper dolls and dress our gingerbread man. But we'll get to all that in a second. Let me move the stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna paint this guy, and I am doing front and back. That's just how I do it. But we'll do this side first. All right, second project I have. And this is the chalk paint that my Walmart is selling now. They don't have the the um what was that you know the other stuff begin waverly they didn't have it this is what they have in my store now so we're gonna see how it goes i don't i don't quite know kids i do not know what is happening here and again i'll just Utilize a real paintbrush. There we go. I just am a dipper and a brush user. And I'm painting this a coat of white. Um, huh. Interesting. It's not bad. Does it have the color cover? No. It doesn't have the cover that um the Waverly did all right I'll paint this and be back okay. everybody's painted up one of them is dry because I painted it earlier so we'll work on this one first so there's a reason I did a cutout I wanted to make patterns for bodies shapes and sizes without getting potentially ink or something all over him so I will show you we're gonna make a hat for this guy so I didn't do it yet because I wanted to show you how I did it. So on this one here, I am just going to draw him a little toboggan. So I'm going to kind of go, this is going to be the head shape. And I want to go up a little higher and down. So we're going to make him a toboggan. And then I'm going to find a pom-pom to put on it here in a minute. But for now, I just took regular scissors and we will just cut the felt out. That easy. And the beauty with felt is you don't have to, you don't have to do anything, you know? So I have his hat and then we'll probably give our girl, she's going to get a bow. I think, yeah, we'll give her a bow. On his toboggan now, I would like to put 
just an accent, I think, of this. Yeah, just a little accent of this um, this black chenille, right? And just drop it in there. Oops. I misjudged it, guys, and that is okay. We'll clean it up in a second. There we go. Got my fingers in there on accident. And now I'm getting all kinds of stringy stuff. <laughs> hey, crafting is fun and messy. Okay. Now, I don't know if I want a second pass. So we're going to see. But first, I would like to get my hands out of there. We want a second pass to make it a little thicker. Yeah, and we want his brim to be just a little thicker. So, there we go. This is the best dollar purchase I've made. I'm telling you, I love it. Okay, probably not the best purchase that I've made, but it's up there. All right, so we're gonna go right next to I'm looking at one, a glue gun that has a more precision tip on it. I have, I've saw some folks using those Ryobi um, glue guns, and I think they have a finer, oh, please lay down, a finer tip on them. Okay. Let's get this together. I think Alex is talking in his sleep behind me. And then we're just gonna trim. The one thing with this chenille is it does not cut well with these scissors. It probably would if I had my fabric. Scissors out, but I don't. Okay, there we go. So that looks good. That's his little hat. And you know what? I don't know that he needs a pom-pom on the top. But we are going to make sure it fits his head. And it does. Oh, that's cute. Okay. First things first. So I did the hat. I showed you what I did. For the body, I literally just measured. This is for the dress because I already cut the arms. But I measured and I took my pattern and I laid it on the felt and I cut it out to get him a shirt. So here is his shirt that has, I'm using some fur. He's going Sonny Bono on me here. <sighs> if you remember the Cher show. So we're just dressing him. I'm really just like a um, paper doll. I love it. So we're going to get some glue in here. I hope you, I'm in the center. Let's move you back here. So what we're going to do is just... A little glue. Make sure you have the right side because once this is down, unfortunately or fortunately, it's down. There, he's dressed. And then there's like, you know, if I wanna just give it a little bit of sticking it down there. Then I took some of this. This is, well, I used it for beard for, um, a no, but you cut it from the back and that's what I'm using my pinking little shears for. You have to get between all that fur. I'm just gonna show you on this little piece here. And you're just trying to cut the backing and watch what'll happen. So this is good for any time you're cutting fur. So it's not cutting the fur, it was just cutting this backing and then it leaves your long pieces. We'll put that away. But I decided he needed a fur vest, right? I mean, I feel like that's appropriate for him. I even gave a little cutout to go under his arm. Because uh, uh, uh. I'm telling you guys, I might be a little extra. But it's okay. This is fun. All right. 
then we're going to turn him around and he gets glued on right here. We're just going to let that sit for a moment. And then we have another one over here. And then we'll move the fur around so you can see his shirt underneath. And more hot glue. And the good thing about these, they're not going to take any stress. So really, you just need enough glue to keep it in place. It's not going to go anywhere, you know? And then we'll take that fur this way. And I could have, um, you know, left a little wider opening, but I'm sorry. Is that not fantastic? I just think it's so fun. These are gonna go in my kitchen. I'm doing a little gingerbread shelf, but I didn't want traditional. All right, so we're good up top. Eventually I'll come back and trim this fur probably, or at least spread it out. There we go, so you can see. But what we need to do is the little gingerbread pieces, and I wanna trim his little hand back a little. I just think it's a little long, so I can do the um, the little icing and that is why I bought this fabric glue because oh we better put his hat on too but I'll get into this fabric glue I wanted the container um, ow I wanted the container so I could draw And then for our girl, I did the same thing. So I'm just going to go here. Now this is for fabric glue, it's, or fabric paint, it's pretty thin. But this is going to require, I would say overnight to dry if I had to guess. So we'll finish this up tomorrow, but for tonight, Just want to get him in his place. Oh, I don't love the way I did that. So I guess I'll no. Let's wipe that off. Yeah, we're gonna wipe that off. And look what happens when you make mistakes, you just fix it. That's all. And I know I have wipes over here, so let us just, oops. Well, I, yeah, that's perfect. And like I said, it's pretty thin. And it's gonna take overnight, most likely to dry, if I had to guess. There, we're gonna do that again. Let me clean this up. Okay, I fixed them up, which is great. These wipes work wonderful, and these are uh, mostly water. I get them at the Dollar Tree. But I do want to stick his hat on before I do his face because I want to just set him aside to dry, right? <laughs> Guys, please tell me he is not adorable. Now, I'm scared, but he needs an eyes. He needs eyes and a nose. And no, eyes and a mouth. So we're gonna do it upside down, sorry, but I need to get to his little eyes. And his little mouth. And that is our male gingerbread. Could be a girl. Could be a guy, we don't know. He's a ginger person. Oops, let's turn it around so you can see what he looks like the right way. Okay, done. So I need to move this little guy, girl, person to dry. So he's gonna sit back there to dry. And we're gonna bring this one up front. Not quite 100% dry, but I say enough dry 
for me to dress her or him or whatever. This one's getting a dress. Guys, I had way too much fun in childhood memories cutting out this clothing. It's so easy. You could do this with anybody. Also, anybody in my area that works at a nursing home or knows of a nursing home that I can donate leftover craft supplies to, please let me know. I just have a lot and I would rather know it's getting put to use than getting sold, I guess, at Goodwill. Although, that's fine. I don't care. But I was thinking I need to find a nursing home that would enjoy some of these supplies. So, that's the top. And then I'm just going to... This needs a little extra because of the, the weight of the fur. Yeah. Guys, tell me that is not adorable. I know, right? Now, I'm going to have a hard time doing the... I may have to lay something under there when I do the zigzags on the feet of this one. But, we're not there yet. So, I have... Just plain black ribbon, but I think... Again, for the size, it might be best, yeah, just to go over that with a single piece of the chenille. And then we can make a bow for the head. Um, I, oh, sorry. I get a lot of questions about my glue gun. It is the AgTech Hybrid. I think I got it at Joanne years ago. But I enjoy it. It does take batteries if you want. I've never used that function. But it does take batteries, so you can use it like cordless. All right, I'm just going to go this way instead of trying to stick my fingers in there, right? Where is my tweezers? Get the paint off of them, and then maybe just use those to push it into the glue. Good job, Lori, getting your tools out. And then we'll let that cool off for one moment. And while that is happening, I think I'll use a little piece of wire to do this bow for her hair because it's going to be tiny. This is some ribbon I got at Walmart. It was $1.98. And it is wired ribbon. And you get... 12 feet. So a little more than you would get at the Dollar Tree. But I liked the size. So I'm just going to get enough to do a small a small loop. Just like that. Right? And then I'm going to take this piece of wire. So I have a small loop. I'm going to scrunch it up between my fingers. It's a hard one with it little, but I squished up. I'm going to take this piece of wire and I wrapped it around twice. And I'm just twisting it down. No, I'm on the wrong side, but I'll put a uh, I'll put something in the center to make it match in a moment. So I think what I'll do, there we go. Right here, we're going to glue that here. Super easy on the bows, guys. I really am enjoying this technique. Hold that down. What I will take is just a little square of the fabric or the felt that matches her dress. I'm cutting a circle. Does it need to be a perfect circle? Um, no. It's a gingerbread person. They're not going to complain to the union. Right? 
but I'm gonna be smart and use my tweezers. I'm gonna use my tweezers here. Little piece of glue. Ooh, I wasn't being too smart. Put it right in the center. And now it matches her top as well. Ah! Guys, let me see if this is better. I'm doing it. I'm getting out the good scissors, which is fine. I just didn't want to reach for them. There we go. And tell me, tell me this is not adorable. So I have my little girl and my boy, or two girls, two boys. I don't care. They're just gingerbread people, friends. We, we're not. A, we're not assigning a gender to these. Okay. Okay. As long as we're all on the same page. I am, however, going to lift that up like that. Ooh, no, I'm not there. So I can. Do the little gingerbread painting down here. Ooh, I'm so off center today. And what I probably will do is not do the arms until the feet dry so I can leave the skirt portion up. But we do need two eyes and I love this bottle even though I'm not loving the pat the fabric paint and I can keep it and use it for um, put a acrylic paint in it when I want to do stuff like this again she need bigger eyes maybe there and then we'll leave it like that until the paint dries and that might take overnight yes so we're going to work on the book that I also would like to put on that shelf so give me a second okay my box is painted white and it really looks like a whitewash I don't love that chalk paint but it is what it is so I wrote gingerbread which is not so neat, but I don't really care. Cookies, and then we're gonna write treats here at the bottom, and these are my three books. And I'm just trying to show you that you don't need a Cricut or stickers, that you can do this by hand, and it will look perfectly, perfectly fine, right? So that's our three books. It's gonna sit on a shelf, but I would like to do some decorating. So we're gonna go back to this black because I wanna tie everything together. Right, right. So we're gonna just hold that down for a second. I'm gonna cover it so it doesn't matter, but let us not make things messy on purpose okay and this is the wire ribbon so it's gonna hold its shape pretty well I'm just holding it down taut so that um, it absorbs some glue that's all but I'm gonna go over it with a different ribbon here in a second all right so we made it around to the back just giving this a second to dry all right oh that's awfully big you don't want to use your sewing scissors guys to cut wired ribbon I'm gonna probably say this every time I do a project and I'm sorry if it's repetitive but it was really instilled in me by my grandmother. And those are the things that you carry with you through life, right? 
All right. That's cool for a second. And this is all totally subjective and totally optional for whatever you would like to do where you, you know, for your decor. If you want to leave it just plain like that, go for it. That's what it would look like. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree Buffalo check. Just trying to get this rubber band. And I'm going to go over the black. I just like a multi-layered look. It's really that simple. Plus, I wanna cover this glue. See, that looks better already. And this is thicker, so it is not going to, um, the weave is thicker, I should say. Than this black. The black is pretty airy. There we go. Or open weave. More like a burlap, I suppose. And so the... And you also don't have to go around the bottom. <laughs> I'm just like... I'm looking at that. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? You don't have to go around the bottom. But... We did, so we will. And then we'll just... There we go. It doesn't matter, this is the back. There we go. I need to get some better craft scissors, friends. All right, so. I have a little stringies, we'll get those after. So there we have it. And again, it could be perfect, just like that sitting on your shelf. I've got a couple things here. One, I got this at the Target dollar spot maybe last year. I think they were doing like a gingerbread cooking situation and it actually has the recipe on it. So I'm probably gonna attach the recipe to the top, but I think, I think I would like to put the oven mitt here and then I have a little, this is just a Dollar Tree little gingerbread person right there. And I don't care that it hangs over here or here because um, it's gonna sit on a shelf. All right, so I just put some glue. The only thing I wanna worry about honestly is that it doesn't cover up the name of the books because this is for gingerbread cookies and treats. Now you could also darken up in between, but, and I use this, I use these all the time, guys, these furniture pens on um, wood. It works fantastic and it dries so quick. And it gives it a different texture. Like it feels like it's raw wood. You're not getting that paint feel. All right. I think that looks pretty darn adorable for my shelf. I do want to attach that because it's just so cute. It's the actual recipe. So I'll just toss it up here and glue it on. Kind of like it was, you know, like grandma used to do. And just so I have it. Now, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow for me and a few minutes for you to finish these gingerbread people because the um, paint is not dry. But that is done. Oh, I'm excited. I'll be back. Hey, everything is dry. I will tell you, even though it took overnight, I love that it dried shiny. I did touch that one by mistake, but I love that it dries shiny like a royal icing that you would do on a gingerbread person. Uh, this person's face is a little, <laughs> a little sketchy, but you know, whatever. Now we're gonna set them together. So we finished off the gingerbread books. 
And I don't, I don't hate that I hand wrote those. So I don't think you have to have fancy like crickets and all of that because you don't. And as a reminder, the, the fabric paint that I got from the Dollar Tree is this BU 3D fabric paint. So it will work and it is white shiny. And it works on all different surfaces. Now these are the bases out of these 3D kits. I just took the base out and I painted it black just to go with my decor. Now, the easy part is I'm going to go in the center here. I'm just going to stand her up. I do, however, want to put some glue on the back side so that, because um, she's a little taller than the 3D. And I just want to make sure she doesn't come flying off that shelf like my pumpkin did and hit me in the head. I had a bruise from that, guys. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Put them in this. And they fit perfect. And he's in there pretty stiff. You know, he's in there tightly. But I still want to just add some glue in the back. I just want them to be able to freely stand. Okay, let that sit for a second. I'm gonna stand this one up. I think the glue should be not dry yet, but certainly um, getting there. So let's let this all dry and then we'll put the embellishments all right, on. I got the glue all set up on the back side there. And we are going to then, we're now going to put the, and I want to kind of do it like that there. I think you'll be able to see it better when I lean it up on the books. I want to put, I think she's going to get some snowflakes. So I'm just putting a dab of glue. Now these snowflakes I'm going to have to stand it up. Do not fit in the grooves. So I'm just holding it forward. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Now the other word I have, joy, which I got. Let that dry. I got this word, joy, from the Target dollar spot some time ago. And the joy does actually fit right down in there. And pretty tight, so I don't need to do anything with that. I'm not going to glue it or anything. But I do want to continue to glue these snowflakes on. And then I will show you at the end what it all looks like. I'm so excited. Oh, guys, I love them. I think they are so cute. I think they're adorable. Okay, the girl's face is a little odd, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We're not judging. We're not here to judge her. We're just here to tell you how adorable they are. I love it. And I hope you do too. And that you can put these on your shelf somewhere and make them fun and personalize them. You can use Christmas, the Christmas tree cutout, the ornament cutout. I just chose to use the gingerbread people. All right. Thank you.